Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. Finally, we have here right in front of me the newest iPhone SE or yung tinatawag nating iPhone SE 2 or the iPhone SE 2020. Actually, I myself, I am very curious on this device. Ewan kaong bakit ba't sobrang hype nito sa ibang bansa. And nararamdaman ko rin yung hype dito sa atin sa Philippines. Alam kong marami rin kayong tanong. That's why I ask you guys on IG kung ano nga ba yung mga gusto nyong malaman about this newest iPhone SE. And wag kayo magalala, I have here the iPhone 8 for us to compare yung kanilang physical appearance and also the camera. And I also have here the iPhone 5 S. Hindi man ito yung iPhone SE na nauna, but it is the same size and same look. So, may compare din natin yung... Also, guys, quick shout out to Beyond the Box and Digital Walker. Pinahiram nila tayo nitong bagong iPhone SE. It will be available on their stores very, very soon. Anyway, I know you guys are excited, so let's proceed to the unboxing. Designed by Apple California. We have some paperworks, Apple stickers, at syempre yung ating panundot, the same ejector tool. And the phone itself. We have a 5 watt charging brick. We have the earphones. And of course, yung ating lightning cable. As you can see guys, the color that I have is yung black. Again, it is available in product red and of course, white. So finally guys, I have here the iPhone SE. I know, medyo maliit yung tignan dito sa camera since naka wide lens nga tayo ngayon. I'll be honest with you guys, I just got this device I think 2 hours ago. And if you are expecting a full review on this specific video, hindi po ito yon. Huwag kayo makilala, I'll be inserting my SIM card after this video at gagamitin ko ito for a week nang ito lang talaga at hindi yung iPhone 11 Pro Max. So on this video, ano nga ba yung dapat nyong i-expect? Again, kanina na una na nga yung unboxing. And then sumunod yung ating first impressions and hands-on. Ano nga ba yung mga dapat nyong malaman about this device? Yung kanyang cameras. I know you guys are looking forward sa mga camera samples niya. And huwag kayo mag -alala. I will really try my best na lumabas sa comfort zone ko at mag-shoot ng videos and photos outside. But don't worry guys, I will be safe. So, sundan natin yung mga rules. The US iPhone SE, guys, available siya in three variants. We have 64GB, 128GB, and 256 Yung meron ako ng unit ngayon is 128GB. Okay, guys, on my right hand, buti na lang, I still have here the iPhone 8. And again, ito nga yung bagong iPhone SE 2020 on my left. Ang makikita nyo lang na difference sa kanila, unang-una yung ating Apple logo dito sa iPhone 8, nasa bandang ibabaw siya. And then for the iPhone SE 2, nasa gitna na yung ating Apple logo. And then another thing na notice nyo, yung ating iPhone na text, meron pa rin tayo sa iPhone 8. But with the newest iPhone SE, wala na tayong kahit na anong text sa likod niya. Kung hindi, again, yung Apple logo lang niya, yung camera niya, and of course, the flash. So obviously guys, for the design, sinusundan niya na talaga yung iPhone 11 series wherein, again, the logo is at the center and no more text sa likod. But of course, except this one, kasi nga itong iPhone 11 na to is the product red, so may nakalagay talaga lagi na product red. So if you will be getting the product red of this iPhone SE, may nakalagay din na product red. Well, we all know naman guys, yung goal ng Apple, every time na bibili kayo ng iPhone sa kanila na product red. This time guys, yung product the cred ng iPhone SE 2020 will be donated to those people who are affected by the COVID-19. I'm not being biased on this part guys, pero nai-impress talaga ako sa mga efforts na ginagawa nila. Anyway, let us set aside muna guys the iPhone 11. Huwag kayong mag -alala. there will be a comparison video for their camera and videos and of course performance. I know guys, ang una-una nyo agad tatanungin sa akin is the size really that small. Alam ko, yung standards natin ngayon, malalaking phones, even yung iPhone 11 Pro Max natin ngayon, it's really big. Kung makikita nyo ito, ikaw compare natin. We have the Oppo Find X2 Pro or even for a mid-range device na Huawei Nova 7i. But alam nyo, I'm happy that they didn't went back sa size ng iPhone SE na unang lumabas. Again, ganito po ang size ng iPhone SE. And again, they went for the display size and design of an iPhone 8. Honestly, at first guys, medyo parang sketchy siya para sa akin kasi sabi ko sa sarili ko, 
It's too small. I'm so used to big smartphones now. Malalaki yung displays since mas mahilig nga ako manood ng mga Netflix, YouTube videos. But then, nung nahawakan ko na siya and then nung kinuha ko ulit yung iPhone 8, I actually really like it. Refreshing and masarap sa feeling humawak ng ganitong size ng smartphone ulit. Hindi siya mabigat and medyo manipis lang siya. Again, para specific tayo, it has 4.7 inches retina display na merong 720 pixels resolution. By the way guys, bago ko makalimutan glass back po ito. So it means wireless charging na siya. And meron din po siyang IP67 water and dust resistant. I wasn't actually expecting guys na magkakaroon tayo sa bagong iPhone SE. No, hindi pa lumalabas yung kanyang specs na may wireless charging and merong waterproofing or an IP rating. I know guys, budget and iPhone doesn't belong to the same sentence but Apple made it possible. Bonus na nagkaroon tayo ng IP rating and wireless charging. So next natin pag-usapan yung kanyang Touch ID. It's been a while guys since I think Actually, medyo matagal na talaga. 3 years na yung nakalipas since I last used a Touch ID. Yes, sa iPhone 8 ko yung last na experience. And after 3 years, my iPhone 8 is still working and alive. Anyway, kamusta yung Touch ID niya, Mary? Mabilis ba? Is it accurate? Is it responsive? Yes, very much responsive and accurate. Actually, I appreciate it more. Dahil sa situation natin ngayon, since madalas tayong naka-face mask sa labas. Eh, pero ako may mag-reason out pa dito na naka-gloves. Huwag na kayo mag-phone kasi magka-transfer yung germs sa phone. So, <laughs> yun lang. Also guys, sa front, kung mapapansin nyo, black front, black yung kanyang bezels. Actually, lahat to guys, mapaproduct red or even the white one, lahat po sila black. Last year guys, with the iPhone 8, hindi siya lahat actually white. If you remember, during the iPhone 8 series, yung black iPhone lang, yung black yung kanyang pinaka-face. But the rest, white silang lahat. But don't expect guys na sobrang bright and sobrang sharp nung kanyang screen display because again, this is only 720 pixels. Actually guys, mas mahirap yung adjustment para sa akin. Again, I will be using this for a week nga sa screen resolution kaysa sa size. Kaysa sa size, mas nag worry ako na mas maninibago ko sa, again, sa kanyang display kaysa doon sa size niya. And again, A13 Bionic chip. Ito yung bago sa kanya. New chipset. Ito yung chipset na ginamit sa iPhone 11 series. But again, same body with the iPhone 8. So, kamusta yung kanyang performance? Ganun ba siya kaganda? Katulad ng iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro Max? I will leave you guys hanging. I will be answering that question on our full review video. And then, kamusta rin yung kanyang battery life, hindi ko pa rin siya masasagot as of now. But imagine nyo na lang guys, an A13 Bionic chip, a very powerful processor, powering a 4.7 inches display. How efficient will that be? Pero nung nakita ko guys, yung capabilities ng cameras and video recording nitong iPhone SE 2020, I'm really impressed. We can actually still shoot 4K at 30 frames per second and even 4K at 60 FPS for the rear camera. Meron din siya actually na tinatawag na cinematic video stabilization. Tutulungan niya kayo guys mag-shoot ng better front-facing videos. Actually guys, magagawa niyo pa rin naman sa cameras dito yung mga ginagawa niyo ng madalas sa mga higher-end phones ng iPhone. But, except, of course, the night mode. Wala pong night mode itong iPhone SE 2020. Medyo nasad ako on this part dahil akala ko kakayanin naman siya ng A13 Bionic chip. But then again, I guess we really can't have it all. Pero meron tayong time-lapse, meron din tayong slow-mo, pero wala po tayong slow fees. Actually guys, I don't think there should be not the reason for you to get the iPhone SE 2020 because when I first had the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, nung ginamit ko yung slow fees, dun ko lang siya huling ginamit actually. Never ko na siyang nasundan na gamitin. Ginawa ko lang talaga yung slow fees for the review. But for that certain feature, for the past few months, never ko siyang ginamit ulit. So I don't think kailangan nyo rin ng slow fees. But at least meron din tayong tinatawag na quick take video. Paano ginagawa yun? Kailangan nyo lang i-hold yung ating shutter button tapos i-slide nyo to the right. Also, if you are planning to get the newest iPhone SE for vlogging, it's also a great choice guys. Ang ganda, ang galing ng kanyang stereo audio. So how does it work guys? Halimbawa pumunta ako on this part, you will be hearing my audio dito sa side na to. And then pag pumunta naman ako sa part na to, maririnig nyo yung audio ko on this side. Unlike other smartphones guys, na mono lang kapag pumunta ako dito, 
doon niyo ako sa kabila marinag, which is kind of lame. So, since isa nga lang yung ating camera, wala po tayong ultrawide, wala rin tayong telephoto, but we can take photos ng naka-portrait mode, front-facing, and yung kanyang rear camera. But wala po siyang pet mode wherein we can take portrait photos of our pets na meron sa iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, or just basically the iPhone 11 series. So, after this clip, guys, makikita nyo na yung mga sample photos and videos natin for the newest iPhone SE 2020, and makikita nyo rin yung mga konting comparison photos niya with the iPhone 8. Now, I did ask you guys on my IG stories and sa Twitter kung ano nga ba yung mga gusto nyong malaman for the iPhone SE and I'll be answering them yung iba lang, yung, yung kaya kong sagutin since first impressions pa nga lang to. So, we have the first question from James Joshua Escandor. In your own opinion, is it an acceptable compromise that you'll choose performance over screen size with thick forehead and chin? Well, first of all, I feel like yung size hindi talaga siya compromise because if you are into big phones, bigger displays, then you shouldn't be getting the iPhone SE 2020 in the first place. You should either go for the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And no phone is perfect. May mga compromises talaga yan. Maganda yung chipset, maliit yung display, maganda naman yung display, borderless, no bezels, pero pangit naman yung chipset na ginamit sa kanya. You really can't have it all, especially considering yung kanyang price. And again, at the end of the day, this is a $400 iPhone, we really can't complain that much. Polo, a question from Pri Tong Tanike from uh, Sir Amapolo. Sabi niya, Tita Mary, uh, Tita, ate na lang. Is it downgrade ba kung from iPhone 10 to SE 2020? Worth it ba magpalit ako if I'm currently using an iPhone 10? Ito yung una mong dapat sagutin. Okay lang ba sa sa'yo na from 1080p magda-downgrade ka to 720p? Okay lang din ba sa'yo na mas maliit yung display mo? Okay rin ba sa'yo na mawala yung telephoto lens? Kung lahat yun okay at gusto mo ng mas latest processor or latest chipset, then go for it. Someone ask guys, si Sir Odama Lemar. May I ask where you bought it? I think it is still not available in Apple Philippines website. Yes, hindi pa po siya available but it will soon be available sa Digital Walker and sa Beyond the Box. Sila po yung nagpahiram sa akin. So, thanks again to them. From Isa Rodriguez. Hi, Isa. Screen size adjustment thoughts. For now, actually, hindi ko pa siya masasagot. But, if you are watching right now, girl, tuwag tuwa ako dahil nare-reach ko yung top screen nitong iPhone SE 2020 at hindi mahirap mag-adjust for my Kahit anong smartphones actually na ginagamit ko before mapa-Android. Pero hindi ko alam if ngayon lang to dahil first day ko siyang ginagamit. I'm not sure if the next few days makukutan pa rin ba ako sa screen size niya or maiinis ako dahil maliit siya. And last but not the least, how much yung iPhone SE 2020? For the 64 GB, it retails for 26,490 pesos. And then para naman sa 128 GB, it retails for 30,490 pesos. And then for the max variant, and 256 gigabytes, it retails for 36,490 pesos. If you will ask me guys, the best choice will be the 128 gigabytes. So what are the reasons, Mary, kung bakit kailangan kong bilhin itong bagong iPhone SE 2020? Siguro for now, again, early verdict lang to. You never had an iPhone, probably like kang naka-Android device at gusto mong you know, lumipat at mag-iOS. I think iPhone SE 2020 is a great device to consider first. Pangalawa, meron kang sobrang lumang iPhone like the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 7. Third, iOS user ka at gusto mo ng secondary device pero ayaw mo mag-Android at gusto mo cheaper than your flagship device. Halimbawa naka iPhone 11 Pro Max ka, then this is also a great choice. Last but not the least, you like a device na older technology, small display, pero maganda ang chipset. Reason for you not to buy 
Ito, actually, tatlo lang naman to. Pwedeng kabibili mo lang ng iPhone 8. Medyo nakakalungkot to, masakit to para sa inyo, pero pasensya na. Nakakahinayang alam ko. Pangalawa, may mas better Android para sa'yo at ayaw mo talaga ng iOS, then don't go for it. And last but not least, wala sa budget or wala kang budget, then don't. Anyway, that is it guys for our unboxing and early impressions of the newest iPhone SE 2020. I will be back guys for our comparison and of course, the one week review. Again, it's your tag girl Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys! So time to transfer my SIM card. The hell? Nira pagpasmado. Help. Paano mo na bend? Pasmado yung kamay ko eh. So this used to be the SIM card on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Ita-transfer ko siya dito sa iPhone SE 2020.